Jet lag! I've just been flying for 20 hours and it was 37 degrees when I left Austin. Hello everyone, I'm back in Melbourne and it is freezing! Since my flights were delayed and I ended up in Brisbane, don't ask. I had to upload this a little bit late, but let's get cracking. So I've just traveled around America and Canada for the last six weeks and as one would imagine, you see many, many different things on your travels as opposed to what you see at home. That made no sense. You see many different things when you travel, is basically what I'm trying to say. And on this trip, I have one thing in particular, particular, that was my highlight. I can sit here and tell you about the various different things, pros, cons of America and Canada, but I'm not gonna do that for various reasons. One, I already have a video that I've done like that. Two, the list is very long, and three, I cannot be bothered. Instead, I'm gonna focus on one singular moment of my trip that makes me question society. On the back of many of the toilet doors across the United States, they had these signs reminding employees to wipe their ass. Who needs to be reminded of that? Oh, damn it. Got shit in my pants again, idiot Fraser. This just puzzled me for so long. What kind of society needs to be reminded to wipe their ass? That's like reminding people not to rape. Wow, that escalated quickly. Jesus, maybe jet lag does make you really delirious. Let's take it back a bit. Oh, my feet really hurt today. Why? You, you walk here all the time. I know, it's like I've walked on broken glass or something. You don't have any shoes on. Unless this sign is actually a joke because I saw, I saw heaps of signs of people being reminded to wash their hands, which I can kind of understand because a lot of people don't wash their hands. I don't know. It's funnier if it was real. I guess I better talk about VidCon as well. Was it huge? Yes. Did I take away many good points from the panels and Q and A's? Yes. Were there many, many screaming fangirls? Yes. Did employees wipe their ass before going back to work? I certainly hope so. If you want to see my day-to-day -day adventures of VidCon, you can go over to my daily vlogging channel where I made a vlog on each day where I meet cool and exciting people. So you go over there and watch them vids. I really enjoyed this trip. The Americans are very nice, hospitable people. And I do hope to go back there very, very soon if someone can pay for it for me. I've also decided that next week I'm going to do a Q&A video. It has been about four or five months since I've done a Q&A, so I thought now is a good opportunity for you guys to ask me questions since I've been away for so long. Uh, you can ask me about the trip, about VidCon, or just about general stuff. We're still a very small, tight-knit community, so there's a very good chance that your question will be answered. And you deserve it, because y'all been supporting me for this long. I just said y'all. What the hell? So you can either submit your questions by writing them in the comments below or you can tweet them to me using the hashtag AskFraser. I've got a lot of stuff happening now that I'm back in Melbourne, like overwhelmingly massive. Is that, oh, does that, was that English? Oh, I don't know. Go to sleep. So it's a good time to ask me questions and go and follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook to keep up with all the goss. Before I head off, I want to say a massive thank you to all these people who came up to me and said hello at VidCon and got a photo. Seeing you guys really motivates us creators to keep doing what we do and it's great to see the smiles on your faces. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for a new video every Friday and be part of this community. This real community. Realers? Is, maybe that can be your name? I don't know. You decide. Thanks for watching me in my sleep riddled state and until next week where I'll be answering your questions. That's a wrap.